Hey guys, this is Daniel. So I'm um, just uh, doing a quick video here just to show you uh, how I did my kayak DIY hoist system. Um, I saw a lot of these videos on YouTube um, about how to do it, but I think the best way was I kind of took a little bit from everybody's and kind of made my own thing. Um, so here it is right here. If you guys, really simple. I spent about $25 uh, at Walmart. I went to Lowe's and Home Depot and uh, just to find different prices and different items that they had and I actually found that Walmart has the cheapest things that I needed so um, so I'll show you if you guys have any comments just comment and I'll tell you where I got everything and how much everything was so you can see I have a, a little uh, what you call cleat there um, two nails that I put in angled it works just great, just as fine. Then I got it up to some hooks up there and two little pulleys. Now these are pulleys that you can find at uh, at Walmart. I bought one, two, I bought six of them. They're all the same. Uh, they are the, they're like 277, so they're very cheap. Um, and they work fine. I mean, I have not a problem and they're, they're graded up to 120 pounds. So they definitely take what I'm giving them. And this line that I'm using is Walmart line also, it's paracord. It takes a 110 pound test, so it's better than a lot of the ropes that are thicker than that. Um, there's a thicker rope that's 3 8 it takes uh, I think 120, so it's just 10 pounds more. This is much thinner, the only thing with thinner line is it's going to burn a little bit, but if you can take that then it's no worries. <laughs> but uh, you can see it goes there, and then I've got another hook right there. That hook is, an, is a one that I bought at Walmart. It's a heavier duty one. I have uh, the pulley on it and then another pulley going down on, and then going through the loop and then it's tied down to the hook itself. So that's one and then it goes to the S there and then to that. And then if you look up there, I have another hook and it's doing the same thing. It's going through the pulley, through the down, through another pulley and up tied up to the anchor and then I got another S right there and then simple loops there. This black string that you see right there under the rafters uh, that's just for stabilization just to keep the the uh, these two uh, loops closer together that's all that's for you it's not necessary I just put it there but uh, I'll go ahead and uh, let you see it I'll pull it down and show you how it works So it's very simple. Um, we'll just say I can describe it as this. So you have two halves. You have this half, and then you have that half. So each anchor is its own half. So this right here, if you just focus on this anchor there, you can see I have, it's all one rope. Uh, it starts off by, you want to tie a knot to the anchor itself, as you can see. And then you just come all the way down, and then you just tie a simple swivel pulley on there and these are 277 at Walmart 120 pound test and then you just go straight up back up and then you put another pulley on there and you just go through that pulley and you can see those little eyes that I put right there those little metal uh, eyelets that I put there I just put them there just for guides you guys don't need those but they help a lot by guiding and not grinding on the wood there so they do help um, so you just go through the pulley Go all the way down and then you just go to another pulley and I just used hook uh, bike hooks there and they do really well you just go through the pulley and down to your cleat and that's it now this also does work on uh, on the rafters I just put it up on the roof because it'll go up a little higher it does work on the rafters um, I did have it on the rafters you see I have little holes right there I had them on the rafters um, it just would hang a little too low so I decided to put a little higher but uh, yep 
Um, so I'll go ahead and do a close up for you guys to see it working in progress. And if you guys have any questions, like I said, just put them in the comments. Um, but it's the same thing on this side. Exact same thing, just longer rope. And that's it. And uh, you can see the S here, just a simple swivel. And then the S hook there, and then and tied down to there. And this is just that uh, little, that little uh, rope that I was talking about that just keeps the, the, uh, the two loops close together and just keeps them more stable. So it's not necessary, just... cleat there there's the pulleys so you're letting it off of there you can see it rolling and it's letting slack to these and you can just see it coming down here and uh, it's pretty simple you can see it in action there and just slowly coming down you can see this pulley working and you can see this as well so it's very simple guys once again if you have any questions just comment me um did it for 25 dollars all the parts were at walmart thank you guys